In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove green screen from your talking head videos and also how to remove green screen from template or graphics to get online. Let's get started. Two videos in the timeline. There is a background that I got online for free on pixels.com. I'll leave a link down below. It's for free videos. And also there's a man saying wow with a green screen behind him. In this video, we're not going to talk about how to light up your green screen. I'll leave a very good video down there below. You can check it out. It teaches about how to light your green screen. So we have the man with the green screen behind him. It could be your talking head, you talking in the video. Just click on that. Go to cutouts on the right side of the software. Select chroma key. Then select the color picker. And with the color picker, we're just gonna select any green parts on the screen. So with this somewhere here, we can just select that. And then use the strength and increase it till the green disappears on the screen. So with this, I can go to somewhere 96, 97. And as you can see, it has more green behind him. It's not that clean. So when you're doing your green screen, make sure you don't have any green spill on you, yourself, the subject. That will make it look clean when you are using the chroma key. But then you can use the shadow and increase it a little bit or decrease it. But in this scenario, we don't need that. So we just leave it at zero. So now we have something like this and then he goes back and with this done, just drag it and drop it on this very video. So this is just going to be our background video that you're going to use. And now with our background, it looks kind of busy and we want the focus to be on the man. So just click on the down video, go to effects, click on video effects, click on lens, scroll down and then select blur over there. Drag it and drop it on the down video. Now you can see the background video video looks blurry. Go to the right side and you can increase the blur amount or you can reduce it. So with this I will go to somewhere 55 and now I'll play and show you guys. Now with the graphics and templates that you can get on YouTube. So with this, I just screen recorded from YouTube direct. It's mostly free on YouTube. So you can use your computer or your phone to screen record it and get it on your laptop or your desktop. So I have something like a subscribe button and also with this, just the mouse clicking on the surface. And we just want to remove the green screen from that. So let's do the first one. Click on that, go to cut out. And just like we did earlier on, click on chroma key, then select the color picker and select a green part on the screen. And now increase the strength of it so the whole green screen disappears. Then increase the shadow if necessary, but with this scenario, we don't really need the shadow. So we leave it at zero. And with this done, just drag it on top of the video that you want to show on. So this is just going to be our video and in our timeline. And as you can see, it shows on the right corner and maybe we don't want it to be there. So what we'll do is just click on that, use the on-screen controls and move it to anywhere you want to place at. So with this, maybe I want it to be on this very corner. And then if the size is too big, you can just reduce the size of it and place it nicely at where you want it to be. So let's just place it on that side. And one tip about this, when you screen record from YouTube, you can see I still have this YouTube play line, that's the red. So we need to remove that before we do with the green screen, otherwise it's still gonna show on our video. So what you do is just click on that and click on this crop icon. And then you're gonna have this window pop up. So with this window pop up, I just wanna cut this YouTube line off. So I'll just drag this up and cut it off. So now it's nice and clean and then I'll click on confirm. And now I only have the green screen with the pointer to work with. So once again, just click on that, go to the right side on cutout, just select chroma key. Then select the color picker and select a green color on the screen. Now use the strength increase it till it disappears on the screen. And with this scenario, we need to increase the shadows cause it was having, let me take it off and show you, it was having this black stroke, so we need it back. So we need to play around the shadows to increase it. Now it looks kind of dark on the screen, so you can't really see it. I'll show you guys later on. So just increase that. And once done, just drag it and drop it on top of this very one. Now I'll show you if I turn the shadows down, just click on that and watch carefully on the screen. When I take the shadows off, you can see the black stroke disappears and we want that with this one. So we just increase it so it will show around our pointer. Now with our pointer done, 
we go to where it comes in and it clicks on the screen. I think somewhere here, it clicks on the screen. Then make sure you select the mouse click, drag it and drop it on top of the subscribe. That's where we want it to be. We need to reduce the size a little bit and then drag it on that. Now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like comes in and it clicks on and now the last thing to do is to add some sound effect otherwise it will look too boring so with this i have this mouse click sound effect i got online you can get more free sound effect on freesound.org i use that a lot it's free so with this we just drag it and drop it down below let me stretch it so we can see how it looks like the next thing to do is we'll just time when it comes in and click on the subscribe that's where we want to hear the sound so i'll just move this and drag it and place it exactly at that place now i'll play and show you guys how it sounds like it sounds kind of low we just want to hear it more so just click on that go to the right side of the software and increase the volume of it and once again i'll play and see how it sounds like this next video will show you how to create split screens in CapCut pc catch you guys on the next one peace